Hey, what's up everybody? It's Slummy here. Are you having problems making gold in Elder Scrolls? Are you grinding and grinding for hours and your character is still broke as hell and you can't even buy that green necklace located in one of the guild stores? Well, today I'm going to show you my top ways of making gold the fastest in Elder Scrolls Online. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I may or may not have a good grind spot for gold. And by may or may not, I mean I do. So with that get, being said, let's get started and I'll go over the top ways of making gold in this game. If you want the absolute quickest way to make gold, join a guild. This is the best way to make maximized profits. Anything that you're not using, place it on the guild store. The more people in your guild, the more likely it is for you to sell. Make sure you do your research before placing an item because you always want to be the lower price. I will make a more detailed video on trading and maximize profits, but once you join trading guilds, sit back and watch people toss gold at your computer screen. Next, get off your lazy ass and do the crafting dailies. By doing the crafting dailies, provisions, alchemy, and enchanting, it takes about two minutes of your time and it'll net you 4,000 gold just by completing these quests on top of giving you some additional crafting materials that you could place on your Trader's Guild for additional profit. Again, this is huge in the fact that it's such a short amount of time to get so much gold. So do the dailies, no excuses. Next up, it's time to get dirty, you thieving son of a bitch. Stealing armor and weapons can be deconstructed into crafting materials, which can be sold in the zone chat or at your guild traders. Looting strong boxes or breaking into homes and looting desks, cabinets, etc. will net you items that could be sold at the outlaw refuge fence. One thing I recommend is if you're stealing from desks and things like that, do not waste your time on white items. Go green or rare because those items will net you more gold with the fence. Also, you'll be leveling up your, your Legion or main, I probably pronounced that wrong, skill lines, which can increase your transactions with the fence. So this is a great way to make gold. You turn into a bad boy, but you turn into a rich bad boy. Speaking of doing dailies, make sure after you do your crafting dailies to pop on over to the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild. Fighters Guild, you'll have to complete three Dark Anchors in a specific location. For the Mages Guild, it's usually a lost treasure within a public dungeon. Just by completing these quests, you'll be awarded 332 gold. On top of the fact that you get merit boxes, once you open these merit boxes, they usually contain ornate items, which can be sold at vendors for higher the gold. a grind but i would farm public dungeons i'll put my favorite public dungeon in the bottom left corner which is located in morrowind but by killing off wildlife and machines within these public dungeons will net you crafting resources that you can put on your guild trader store um you'll also get items that you can sell items known as trash items that you can sell at vendors within towns i would focus on public dungeons with a lot of human mobs Humans tend to have a better chance of dropping gold. Uh, usually in a decent mod you can get between 100 and 150 gold coins. Um, they'll also have a chance to drop item sets which could be sold on your guild trader stores. Uh, also while you're farming these dungeons you could do the bosses because the bosses have a better chance to drop rare uh, armor sets and weapon sets which could be sold on your guild trader stores if you're not using them. Also, you do tend to get a little bit of gold for defeating a boss. So I would do public dungeons as my next route. Again, I know this is a little bit of a farming technique and it does take a little time. But again, this is a good way to make some gold. If you want to see my secret grind spot? I'll also let this video play out for a little longer just so you can see how you, to grind gold. Well, my favorite spot to grind for gold is in the Brass City Fortress if you have the Clockwork City DLC. Basically, killing off any wildlife in this zone will net you gears that you can sell at vendors for about nine gold a piece, I believe. Some wildlife even will give you two pieces of gears. Uh, if you're gonna do the grind in the main hub, I would highly suggest switching to a melee weapon and not 
your destruction or healing staff because sometimes things tend to get a little wonky and you might hit an NPC which uh, they will then attack you and you will get a bounty and obviously if you have to pay a bounty that's no way to make gold when you're stuck paying for things but Cl Brass Fortress is my favorite spot uh, basically just running around the wildlife respawns pretty quickly literally mice snakes and the flying dragonfly looking things um, all net you gears when you're doing dungeon runs, there's wildlife crawling all over the place. Kill them and grab the gears while you're doing it, on top of the fact that uh, you're getting items for the enemies that you kill. But again, this is my top secret area, so I expect to see this area flooded with people now trying to get that gold. Um, so thank you all for tuning in. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel as I'll be posting more videos for Elder Scrolls Online. Also. Um, if you have a better way that you found to get gold, please post it in the comments below. Uh, this is a game I'm still catching on to everything, um, so suggestions are more than uh, welcomed. Uh, if I missed anything, please let me know. If you didn't like this video, let me know. Um, if this was not a good way to get gold, uh, then obviously I will do some more research. But thank you all for tuning in. Have a good day.